Hi, so in this video we're going to be finding the missing angle from a series of different shapes. Okay, now actually this particular question is probably more difficult than the other questions together because we're going to be dealing with external and internal angles. Okay, but what it's saying to us initially is that PQ... QR and RS are three sides of a regular decagon, which is a ten-sided shape. Okay, so before I'm going to go any further, what I do know is that all the angles in a regular polygon or a regular shape, the external angles add up to 360 degrees. So if there's ten of them, it means that the external angle is going to be 36 degrees. So in other words, what we're saying here is that if you can imagine if I kind of draw this as an extension there, this angle is 36 degrees, which also means that if I take that away from 180, I can figure out that this angle here, which is the top of this particular triangle, is going to be 144 degrees because this PQ and the extension line that I've drawn is a straight line. Okay, so hopefully you're okay with that idea of these external angles being 36 degrees because there's 10 of them and they all add up to 360. Okay, so because I've got now this top angle, I also know because it's a regular shape that PQ and QR are equal to each other. So therefore what I've got actually is a fairly classic isosceles triangle. So I know that the internal angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I work out 180 minus 144, I get left with 36 degrees, which is the total of these two angles added together. Now, because they're both going to be the same, it means that each angle must be 18 degrees. OK, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky to kind of show on the video, but hopefully you can appreciate, uh, particularly if you print this particular worksheet off and have a go at it for yourself, that if I draw a line straight across there, I've got opposite angles. So 18 here means that I've got 18 degrees here. OK, the other thing I've got, and this is where I think it will be a little bit tricky to see, is actually this angle is the external angle of 36 degrees. OK, and it's this angle here is 36 and this angle here is 36 because what you've got with a regular shape. So uh, it's going to be difficult for me to draw a 10 sided shape. But if you can imagine, I've got... Um, something like that, let's say the top half of a hexagon. So the top half of a hexagon, the external angle is a bit like a Catherine wheel. It's that one here is uh, whatever it is. I can't quite remember, 54, I think. This is the external angle as well. So this angle and this angle are both external angles of a regular hexagon. OK, as would be if I draw that as a straight line and that as a straight line, it's going to be this angle. And in this particular case, this angle as well. And then I've got the rest of my hexagon. Um, so I've got this angle, this angle and this angle. OK, so hopefully you can see that that is it's a little bit like a Catherine wheel. And it's exactly the same with this 36 here, which is the external angle and this 36 here. So if I want to work out the angle TRS, it's going to be 18 plus 36, which is going to be 54 degrees. OK, so a little bit tricky to start off with, but hopefully you've been able to grasp that one. OK.